Well, there is a very interesting AI experiment that was created by Google. So this tool will improve your prompting skill. And the name of the tool is Say What You See. So I know what you're thinking. The name and also the design of the tool looks like it was a sort of mini game that was made for children. But no, this tool is made for everyone regardless of the age. After all, this is a tool to sharpen your prompting skill. But the question is, how does this thing actually work? Well, in a simple term, basically AI will create a picture and then you have to guess what was the prompt that was used by AI to generate that picture. And then based on your answer, AI will create another picture and the two pictures will be compared together and see how close they are. And you have to reach certain threshold in order to pass the challenge or the test. It is actually a great way to get better at prompting. Now, if you are interested to use this tool, I'll leave the link in the description down below. And I guess I'll just do a quick demonstration on how you can actually navigate around this mini game or mini tool. I'll click launch experiment and I will start with level one. So this is a sort of quick tutorial. I'm on level one and right now the requirement is 50% match. It's not that difficult. So you'll see a picture and you have to describe uh, how to recreate that picture based on uh, the picture that you're seeing. And this is just a quick suggestion that you can include information about the medium, subject and context. Okay, let me just begin. Okay, we got a picture of ramen. I think a bowl of ramen is the best way to describe it. I think a bowl of ramen uh, seen from above. Yeah, I hope that is correct. And here I'm going to just send a message and AI will create another picture based on my prompting or based on my description. So let's see how close they are. All right, that's pretty good. It's 77%. So that's higher than the 50% match uh, for the level one. Okay, I can continue. Okay, this is the tough one. I'm going to say it like a screen, you know, a gradient screen uh, from green to pink running from about. I don't know what to expect, but I'm hoping that the picture will be more or less similar. So the prompting is not that very important, not very important. I think the goal here is you can use any sort of description, but as long as it is matching the picture, then you're good. So you can have a totally different prompting, but as long as the result is more or less the same, then you can pass the test. So I think that's the key takeaway of this mini game. All right. So this is just a small wooden horse statue against a, I would say, a light background. Let me just send a message and let's see what is the score that I will get. All right, that's very close, 86%. So that's the highest percentage that I got on level one. So I can click next and yeah, overall I passed the challenge. And if you want to get more challenge, just click next level and you'll see uh, more challenge and it's going to be more difficult. But again, the goal is to make you better at prompting with AI. So even though this tool is mainly about evaluating AI image prompting skill uh, using images, but I think this is the same knowledge can be applied to AI video and also AI text or large language model. So go ahead, use this tool and uh, make yourself improve your prompting skill because after all, we are working with AI and I think we will all agree that the people that they will survive are the people who are good at using AI and you can start that by getting better at prompting. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.